What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create secondary supply air systems. Previous video, we have learned how to place non-hosted air terminal. So this time around, um, we are going to create secondary supply air system. Alright, so let's get started. So we're going to create low pressure secondary supply air system. So a Revit MEP system is the logical connection between system components uh, such as the air terminals and uh, mechanical equipment. So this logical connection allows Revit MEP to perform various analysis including energy analysis. So you create air systems by placing air terminals and um, mechanical equipment. Okay, so you then create the logical connection between the system components. So after creating the logical connection, you then create ductwork to physically connect the system uh, components. So this workflow is the Revit MEP uh, recommended best practice for systems creation. Alright, so in this exercise... We are going to use also the system browser to validate the systems. Okay, so take note that unlike logical connections, physical connections like a ductwork are not required for system designing. However, they are necessary to perform calculations such as sizing for uh, reference or that reference the physical uh, geometry. All right, just remember that one. Okay, so let's ex let's explore the system browser. So the system browser lets you know the elements or the components that is not yet part of the system. So how to do that? So to show the system browser, you just need to right click on the blank space and then look for the browser and then look for the system browser. That's it. Okay, in lower version, what you do is for you to be able to show the system browser, you just need to go to the view tab and then you go to user interface and then you can see there the system browser or you just press F9 on your keyboard. Okay, so just select that one and then you will now see your system browser. By the way, your system browser, you can actually uh, combine that to your project browser if you want to, uh, if you want to save uh, more space, okay? So as you can see, I have combined that with my uh, system browser here and then the project uh, project browser. So there's the system browser. You will notice here on the systems category, so you have systems, zones, analytical systems. So I'm going to make sure that systems is selected. So as you can see here, you will notice that there is no mechanical system here. There's no piping system and there is no electrical system. So all the elements that we have placed here, including these five diffusers on our lounge area, okay, all of that uh, elements are assigned here to the unassigned system. So as you can see, we have 335 items here that is unassigned to any system. Okay, so that's how you check. So you will notice as we add these um, air terminals to the system, you will notice that we will be adding a system on our mechanical here. All right, so how to create a system? Very simple. So to create a system without physically connecting it to another component, like creating a duct and then connecting it to, a, to an air terminal, so what, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the air terminal. And then as you can see here on the system browser, it highlights the unassigned here. Because this um, air terminal is included inside the unassigned elements here. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to select. And then on the create systems uh, panel, so there is the duct there. So you just need to click that one and then you will be able to create a dock system. As you can see, the system that you will be creating here is supply because the connector of this air terminal is supply connector. That's why the system that you will be creating here is supply air. And then here you will be able to have a chance to change the system name. 
if you do not change this one, later on you can still change the name of the system. I'm going to show that to you. Alright, so I'm going to select here uh, OK. Right, OK. And then I select here Modify. As you can see here, notice that we now have one system here on the mechanical. So if I'm going to expand that one, expand this one, so I now have this uh, system here. So I now have the mechanical supply air one. So that's the name of the system. And then under that system, I have the supply uh, diffuser. So let me just adjust this one. Okay, there you go. And then, uh, as you can see, Revit will also tell you where, uh, what is the space, where is that um, supply diff diffuser is placed. So it's on the space 223 lounge area. So this is space that we have here. Okay, this one. So that's the space here. Okay, and then you will also notice here that you can now see here the actual airflow which is 425 so the total for mechanical supply air one is 425 because we only have one air terminal to that system and if i click this one you can see that the flow there is 425 now let's say for example i want to add the other four air terminal to the system so how to do that so to do that you just need to click your air terminal okay just click the air terminal that is already part of the system and then you just need to go to the dock systems here. You click that one and then you look for edit system. So you click the edit system here. And then as you can see by default, add to system is already activated. So all you have to do is to select the air terminals that you want to add to your system. So also take note of what will happen here on our system browser. So I'm going to click this one to add. Okay, I'm going to click this one. I'm going to click this one. All right, so I'm going to click this one here. And then I select here, finish editing system. And there you go. You see, our system here is now updated. And if I hover my pointer, and if I click that one, it highlights this connection here, this system here. And then these are now the supply diffusers that we have here on space 223. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is um, we are going to select the equipment that will supply to these air terminals that we have here in this uh, space, which is this one, for example. Okay, so we want to add this equipment to our system here, to this system. So how to do that? So again, same procedure. Just click one of the air terminal that is part of the system and then just go to the duct systems and then this time you can now click select equipment so it specifies the component to feed the elements in a selected system just click that one and then just click now your air terminal oh i mean this equipment here you click that and then right away it's now uh, added here so our system now is being run by this equipment okay and then just select modify so if i'm going to expand this expand this one so you will now see that this is now the equipment that is feeding these air terminals that we have here in this system so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to select this equipment and then look for the mark here. I want to change the name of the system here. I do not want to see mechanical supply air one name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it based on the equipment that is feeding these supply diffusers. So I'm going to select this equipment and then look on the properties and then look for the mark. So there's the mark there. So I'm going to select that and then control C to copy. And then after that, let's uh click again the system here you click that and then look at the properties then we can now look on the system name here and we can now change this so i'm going to 
backspace, delete all of this, and then control V to paste the name of our equipment or the mark name. And then I'll just select apply. And there you go. So it's now renamed. Right? Okay. So that's it for this um, quick exercise. We're in. Um, in this exercise, we have created a low-pressure secondary supply air systems for the building. So we have used the create supply systems to, to logically connect air terminals to the uh, WSP, uh, H, WSHP equipment. Okay, so in our next exercise, we're going to create ductwork for our secondary supply air system. All right. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.